time on that just to make sure I don't mess anything up. Worst case scenario, I'll just kill that off. You got the suit.
but, but it's always good.
Good afternoon. To the parents, grandparents, families, friends, and especially the new cadets who will become class of 2025, welcome to the Virginia Military Institute and the Corps of Cadets. I'm very pleased to spend this time with you today on opening day of the 2021-2022 academic year. This is a very exciting time and the beginning of a great journey for our new cadets. We expect to matriculate 496 cadets from 42 states and six foreign countries, 59% of which are from Virginia, 41% are from out of state. 66 are female, 104 are recruited as NCAA athletes, 58% will major in math and science and engineering, and 42% will major in liberal arts. This is a large class with impressive qualifications. Appointment to VMI is very competitive and very selective. We extend our congratulations to the new cadets. With me this afternoon is the senior leadership of VMI, professionals with whom you will become very familiar with. I will ask each to rise as their name is called. They are Brigadier General Robert W. Moreshi, Deputy Superintendent for Academics and Dean of the Faculty. General Moreshi is a 1983 graduate, cum laude, in economics from Augustana College, and he received his doctorate from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in economics. With a concentration in finance and applied microeconomics, in 2002, after extensive experience in business, he joined the VMI faculty as a professor of finance, and in 2013, he was elevated to the department head of economics and business department. He assumed duties as deputy superintendent and dean of the faculty in 2018. Next, we have Brigadier General Dallas Clark, deputy and superintendent for finance and administration and support. General Clark graduated from VMI in 1999 with a degree in economics and business. He previously served with the VMI Alumni Association and as the Institute's strategic planning officer. Before assuming his current position in 2017, General Clark holds a master's degree in business from Virginia Commonwealth University. New to the staff is Colonel Adrian Bogart, Commandant of Cadets. Colonel Bogart is a 1981 graduate of VMI who assumed duties as Commandant this summer following a very successful 38-year career in the United States Army. He recently retired from the U.S. Army Special Forces. Most recently, Colonel Bogart completed a 21-month deployment to Afghanistan prior to becoming the Chief of the Washington Field Office for the U.S. Southern Command. As a civil engineering major at VMI, he held positions of increasing responsibility as a member of the cadre and as executive officer of Company F in his first class year. Next is our command chaplain, Chaplain Colonel Bob Phillips. Institute chaplain, chaplain of the Corps of Cadets. Colonel Phillips graduated from VMI in 1987, originally from Long Island, New York, he commissioned in the United States Army as a field artillery officer. His final posting was the command chaplain, Tripler Army Medical Center in Honolulu, Hawaii, which he completed, which completed his U.S. Army career of more than 25 years. Bob holds a Master of Divinity degree from Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary, a Master of Science degree in counseling from Columbus State University and a master's degree in strategic studies from the U.S. Army War College. Mr. Lenny Brown is next. He's our acting director of intercollegiate athletics. 
Lenny joined the athletic department in 2016 as the director of athletics equipment and services and has since worked as the assistant AD and associate AD for facilities and compliance. Prior to coming to VMI, he served in the athletic departments of Iowa State University and American University. He received a bachelor's and master's degree from Virginia Tech, where he was a three-time qualifier for the athletic director honor roll and was named the Scholar Athlete of the Year. Sergeant Major William T. Sowers is the Institute and Corps Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major Sowers retired in June of 2018 from the United States Marine Corps after 30 years of service, culminating as a Division Sergeant Major and Senior Command Non-Commissioned Officer of the famed 1st Marine Division at Camp Pendleton, California. He had an impressive career with service on the front lines in combat, drill sergeant duty, and command training responsibilities at the highest levels in the U.S. Marine Corps. He assumed his duties at VMI in 2018 and has close involvement with the Corps of Cadets in terms of discipline, knowledge, appearance, leadership development, and the new cadet military training program. Next, we have Lieutenant Colonel Jamika Love, our Chief Diversity Officer. Lieutenant Colonel Love is tasked with guiding the strategic direction of the Institute's diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. She has held roles at Roxbury Community College, Pine Manor College, and Eastern Nazarene College, where her responsibilities often focused on student life, campus morale, compliance, suicide prevention, and the implementation of multicultural and social justice programs. Lieutenant Colonel Love earned her doctoral degree in higher education administration and her master's degree in counseling psychology from Northeastern University. She earned a bachelor's degree in general experimental psychology from Emmanuel College. Next is Colonel John David, who will serve as a class advisor to the VMI class of 2025 during all four years of their cadetship. Colonel David joined the VMI faculty in 2011 and currently serves as a Jackson Hope Distinguished Professor of Natural Science and Director of the Applied and Industrial Mathematics Program. Colonel David received his doctorate from North Carolina State University in Applied Mathematics. He then worked as a systems engineer applying technology to problems of national security at the Mass Massachusetts Institute of Technology Lincoln Laboratory at Hanscom Air Force Base. In 2016, he was named the Outstanding Young Professor in Virginia by the State Council of Higher Education. Next, we have Mr. Steve Marconi. Steve is the Chief Executive Officer of the VMI Alumni Agencies. Steve is a 1977 graduate of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology with a degree in Oceans Engineering. Steve was a Naval ROTC student and was commissioned as an ensign in the U.S. Navy. He spent 21 years as a naval aviator flying and commanding the P-3 Orion aircraft. Upon retirement from the Navy, Steve contributed to the reorganization effort of the U.S. Naval Academy Foundation and spent the next 15 years there. He has served at the VMI alumni, alumni agencies since 2017. Also joining us this afternoon are Rob and Candy Diamond of Dinwiddie, Virginia. They currently serve as co-presidents of the VMI Parents Council. Their daughter, Savannah, is a member of the VMI class of 2022. She serves as the Cadet S4 EMT Lieutenant and is a psychology major. A special thanks to all of the members of our Parents Council for your outgoing support today and for all you will be doing this academic year. And last but not least is Colonel, Gar Colonel Gary Bissell, VMI's acting chief of staff and a 1988 graduate of the Institute. Colonel Bissell has served in the Army on active duty and in, and in the reserves at various assignments in Korea, Germany, Iraq, the Army Operations Center in the Pentagon, and as a reserve advisor for the J-5 on the Joint Staff. He obtained a bachelor's degree in elementary education from Kansas State, 
a master's degree in education from Norwich and has taught at multiple middle schools. He and the VMI staff are responsible for this matriculation event and the many activities at the Institute. Let's have a round of applause for my staff, if you don't mind. Incoming cadets, I want to speak to each of you today at the beginning of your cadetship. We all know you have chosen a tough path that will challenge you in the days to come, but I want to remind you to focus on why you're here. You're coming to VMI to succeed. We did not bring you here to fail, and we have every expectation that you will succeed. We have an excellent team of faculty, staff, coaches, and the Corps of Cadets who are here to train, teach, guide, coach, and mentor you. The resources are in place to help you excel and to help you find your place here and strive for excellence in the many fields that you choose. I challenge you to engage with one another and get out of your comfort zone. You are each coming from a different background and a different set of life's experiences. Embrace your brother rats. Get to know each other, especially those that are different from you. Learn from each other and appreciate your fellow cadets for who they are. Each of you have different reasons for why you came to VMI and what your goals are and what you want to achieve in the coming years. Your plans and your focus at VMI may be different. Some of you may know exactly what you want to do and the path that you want to take, while others are still charting that path. But if you want to excel in our regimental system, we will support you. If it's in academics that you want to excel, we're going to support you. If it's in our military component, we'll support you there as well. And if it's as a Division I athlete or a club sport athlete, we're bringing you here to help build something special. But you must find your place at VMI. In the coming days, you will learn more about your future and you will learn how to better define yourselves. VMI graduates have taken many unique paths in the past. You don't have to look very far to find numerous examples. You may want to pursue a distinguished military career like so many of our alumni have, including Colonel Bill Dabney, class of 61, or Major General James Morgan, class of 45. Or you may find a different way to serve, like Tim Rodriguez, class of 92, who, who joined the Peace Corps. Others may want to pursue a career in athletics. We've had graduates that have entered the pro ranks, like Ryan Glenn, class of 96, who played for the Texas Rangers, and Stan Oki, class of 2013, who most recently played for the Nigerian National Olympic basketball team. Many of you will find an academic passion and want to pursue a professional or graduate school opportunity. You may want to become a scholar, like Dr. Gregory Lippent, class of 2009. Another option may be that you want to test your entrepreneurial chops and become a small business owner, like David Hoy, class of 93, or one of our Board of Visitors members, Ms. Laura Chambers, class of 2003. In the days to come, you will meet many alumni, and you'll hear many stories from them. Listen to them and learn about what they've done in their careers as a result of a VMI education. But today it's your turn. Each of you are unique individuals and your paths will not take the same route. In the coming days, there will be times when you will be tired, worn out, and mentally exhausted during the rat line. But don't forget that this training is about seven months of your cadetship a cadetship that will span 46 months. The training is hard and we will require a lot of you,
but keep it all in perspective. You have many months to learn about yourself, to grow, focus on your goals, and even have fun like your college peers. But don't get distracted and don't let anyone else define who you are or what goals you want to achieve. You are a VMI cadet. One of our missions at VMI is to treat everyone with dignity and respect. We will never tell you that you don't belong or that you're second rate. We strive to treat everyone fairly. That includes challenging every one of you to be your very best. We will push you to your limits. Some days that may lead to discouragement. But the BR spirit that you will find at VMI is all about lifting one another up, especially during challenging times. You will share many experiences, and at times you will need to depend on one another and work together. One of your greatest strengths will be each other and the bonds that you form as you live, study, compete, and train together. Lastly, I want to speak to everyone else here, especially the parents and guardians. You have entrusted us with these young men and women. We are honored to have them join us at VMI, and we commit to providing the opportunities and the guidance necessary to help them succeed. In the coming days, they will be challenged, and most certainly some of them will get frustrated. We want to ensure you that we are committed to them making the full journey here at VMI. In less than four years, we will meet again in this building to celebrate the, the graduation of the class of 2025. I want to see every one of you make it to that day. Do not give up on yourself and do not forget why you decided to come to VMI. So today your journey begins. We wish each and every one of you the very best and look forward to the many successes in the years to come. I'd like to now call Colonel Adrian Brogart, the Commandant of Cadets, to speak to you. Thank you. So we have a very full afternoon ahead of us. I want to say a couple of things before we really kick off the afternoon schedule. First thing I want to do is recognize all the workers, all the staff, all the people that put this all together, everything from this building to the buildings adjoining us up on the parade field inside barracks. Over the course of the past couple of months, there's been a Herculean effort by the staff here at VMI to make sure that the rooms are safe that the rooms are clean, that there's fresh paint, that uh, everything's functional. And what your uh, cadets are now going into is a fully functional and safe facility. So really what we should do is give a hand to all those people that made this moment uh, come together. So welcome VMI family. Whether you realize it or not, you have now joined the ranks of one of the most exclusive uh, families in, in the United States and throughout the world. Welcome very much. I have remarks for the parents. I have remarks for the cadets. Then I will call out the first captain, and then we're going to go into a very good part of our initiation for the new class. So parents, you have brought your, your cadets here. It's a very hard decision that you've made. A lot of choices out there a lot of choices, you made the right choice. You made the right choice. Uh, I have, you have full access to me, the superintendent, the staff, the leaders of VMI at all times. Uh, as some of you have enjoyed, the rest of you are invited to enjoy. My door is always open, especially on Fridays. Fridays will be uh, an open door session. You come right in. 
into the Commandant's office and please tell me how you're doing and, and how your family's doing, and how your cadet is doing. So always feel free to contact us. Uh, we have your cadet's safety and uh, stability at the forefront of our daily activities and nightly activities. We maintain a 24-hour uh, operation that we're always available and we're always there to help. So always reach out to us, always feel free to do that. I really don't care what time of the day or night it is. I gave up sleeping a long time ago. <laughs> All right, new cadets. This is gonna be hard. And you know that. So I got a couple words for you. Actually two, don't quit. Don't quit. The next George Marshall is sitting in these ranks today. The next national leaders of our country and the countries that are here today are standing in these ranks today. He or she is here today. But it's not just one, it's many. And you all come together and you form one, and out of many will be one. Welcome. Welcome to the VMI family. And uh, we're going to start moving into a portion that will uh, bring your cadet as a true cadet of the Virginia Military Institute. And we'll see you on this stage again in four years, where they'll receive their graduation. So thank you very much. Cadet First Captain, host. Cadet First Captain, initiate the 180 second round. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Virginia Military Institute. I am Casey G. Meredith, Regimental Commander and Cadet First Captain of the Corps of Cadets. I would like to first address the parents. As you look at your sons and daughters, understand that they are a direct reflection of the principles and morals that you have instilled in them. You should be honored that they are processing into the institute that they are today and the efforts that they have taken to be here. Our process of molding your sons and daughters is quite possibly the most difficult thing that they have faced thus far. But it can be done and it will require your support. I am humbled to lead them and I can assure you their safety and their professional instruction at the hands of my cadre, who are men and women who exemplify integrity, hard work, and drive for success. To the rat mass of 22 plus 3, I commend you on your induction into the Virginia Military Institute. We live in a world where integrity, hard work, and selflessness are often given up for shortcuts greed, and complacency. Our world is in desperate need of men and women who want to answer the call of duty, who want to be molded into leaders of integrity and sound character. Our process provides an opportunity to have meaningful instruction. My cadre will do that for you. Know that the men and women before you are going to be teaching you after three years of instruction at the Virginia Military Institute. They harness the integrity that the men and women at Virginia Military Institute 
have garnered for 182 years. They are excited and they are determined to bring you into the Virginia Military Institute and to give you the hard working Hell Week and the four years that you're going to be working at the Virginia Military Institute. Let it be known that the Virginia Military Institute garners integrity and it has for many years before you. The men and women standing before you will do that for you and they will allow you to have the success and integrity and hard work that you desire. I want to allow you to drive for ultimate success and we will do that for you. Good luck. I am the first town executive officer. I'm Cadet Captain Derek T. Shockey. I'm responsible for overseeing the training and well-being of your sons and daughters in Company Baron through Charlie. Baron Company Command, post. And company corporals, post. I am the band company commander. I am Cadet Captain Ethan J. Schlossel. I am responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. With the help of my cadre, I will transform them into model VMI cadets. On my command, those of you in the audience with the letters B, D on your name tag, come to the floor and report to the band company guide on. And company reps, hurl in!
Alpha Company Corporals, post! I am the Alpha Company Commander. I am Cadet Captain Grady O. Beasley. I am responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. With the help of my cadre, we will develop them into model VMI cadets. On my command, those of you in the audience with the letter A, come down to the floor and fall in on the Alpha Company guide-on. Alpha Company Rex! Fall in! Bravo Company Corporals, post! I am the Bravo Company Commander. I am Cadet Captain Zachary S. Wright. I am responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. With the help of my cadre, I will transform them into model VMI cadets. On my command, those of you with the letter B on your tag, come to the floor and report to the Bravo Company guide on. Bravo Company Rats, all in! Charlie Company Corporals, post! I am the Charlie Company Commander. I am Cadet Captain Garrett R. Johnson. I am responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. With the help of my cadre, I will transform them into model VMI cadets. On my command, those of you in the audience with the letter C on your name tape, 
will come to the floor and report to the Charlie Tumney died on. Charlie Tumney rats, fallen! I am the 2nd Battalion Commander. I am Cadet Captain Max C. Burke. I am responsible for overseeing the training and well-being of your sons and daughters in companies Delta through Foxtrot. Out your company, Commander! Out! Delta Company Corporals, host! I am the Delta Company Commander. I'm Cadet Captain Mary C. Madison. I'm responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. With the help of my cadre, I'll transform them into model BMI cadets. On my command, those of you in the audience with the letter D on your name tag, come to the floor and report to the Delta Company Guidon. Delta Company reps, fall in. Echo Company Corporals, post! I'm the Echo Company Commander. I'm Cadet Captain Hannah N. Yoder. I'm responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. With the help of my cadre, we will train them to be model BMI cadets. On my command, those of you in the audience with the letter E on your tag will fall in behind the Echo Company guidon. Echo Company Rats, fall in.
Box truck company corporals, post. I am the Foxtrot Company Commander. I am Cadet Captain Charles J. Jones. I am responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. With the help of my cadre, I will transform them into model VMI cadets. On my command, those of you in the audience with the letter F on your name tag will come to the floor and report to the Foxtrot Company guide off. Fox Truck Company Rex, fall in! Fox Truck Company, parade, rest. I am the 3rd Battalion Commander. I am Cadet Captain Ethan K. Hogan. I am responsible for overseeing the training and well-being of your sons and daughters and companies golf through India. Golf Company Commander, host. Golf Company Corporals, post! I am the Golf Company Commander. I am Cadet Captain Sean P. Vonderhaar. I am responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. With the help of my cadre, I will transform them into model VMI cadets. On my command, all of you in the audience with the letter G on your name tag will report to the floor and go to the Golf Company guide on. Golf Company Rats, fall in! Golf Company, Paul Ray, rest. Hotel Company Corporals, host.
I am the Hotel Company Commander. I am Cadet Captain James L. Williams III. I am responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. Of my cadre, I'll transform them into model VMI cadets. On my command, all of you in the audience, letter H on your tag, come to the floor, report to the Hotel Company Guide on. Hotel Company Rats, all in! Indian Company Corporals, post. I am the Indian Company Commander. I'm Cadet Captain Brian John Anderson. I am responsible for the training and well-being of your sons and daughters. With the help of my cadre, I'll transform them into model VMI cadets. All of you, on my command, all of you in the audience, with the letter I on your tag, come to the floor and report to the India Company Guide on. India Company rats, fall in. Okay, all the new cadets, raise your hands. We're going to do the BMI cadet oath. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I hereby engage, I hereby engage to serve as a cadet in the Virginia Military Institute for the term for which I have entered. I promise to honor on my honor. I promise on my honor. While I, continue a member thereof, While I continue a member thereof, to obey all legal orders, to obey all legal orders of, the of the constituted authorities of the Institute, and to discharge all of my duties as a cadet with regularity and fidelity. I will never lie, cheat, Steal, steal, nor tolerate those who do. And I solemnly pledge to keep this covenant with all members of the Corps. So help me God.
Trailers was supposed to turn it back over to Tanner.